Hi, I'm Andrew with Riverbed Builders, and in today's video, I wanna talk about pond cleanings. So in the spring, it, it's important to go ahead and get your pond cleaned. Um, it's not necessary in larger ponds to do it every season, but if you have a small eight by 11, 11 by 16 pond, it's a good idea to go ahead and get that cleaned um, every year. And, uh, and what's happening is, um, you're basically cleaning everything out of the pond that has accumulated over the, the summer months and preparing your pond for the next season. It's kind of hard for that pond to purge everything out of its system. So a healthy ecosystem pond, you want lots of bacterias in the water, on your rocks and gravel, in your filtration, breaking down all the, the uh, leaves and uh, fish waste and anything that works its way into the pond, slowly breaking those things down and keeping them from turning into ammonia and harming your fish. After sitting all winter and your bacteria dies off, uh, or a majority of it does, and what is still present isn't working as fast as it is in the summer months. So it's important that we kind of help the pond out and remove you know, 90% of those things in the pond, like leaves, mud, um, fish waste, old fish food that's not completely broken down. Any of those things can uh, really make your pond look disgusting. June and July, when, when you're faced with uh, 80, 90 degree weather, full sunlight, um, you're just gonna have a lot more issues, and it could uh, negatively affect your fish uh, long term. Um, so the process that we use to clean our ponds um, is we drain them completely uh, and we remove all the fish. And what we like to do is, is use some of that pond water to kind of help flush out the streams and waterfalls and in uh, the gravel bed. Um, and then we want to remove all the filtration that has caught, you know, 12 months of debris and things in the water column. And we wanna give those a deep cleaning as well. Um, some of the other things uh, that we do is, are we pressure wash the pond. So when we're pressure washing, we're really trying to break off some of that really heavy uh, algae that's maybe left over from the winter um, some of the thicker debris that might be in the pond and, and leaves and things. And we're trying to get all that broke down so we can pump it and remove it from the pond. And this just kind of helps us speed up the process. And then when we're done pressure washing, we're going to come back and, and do a full rinse of the pond, uh, with just your, your, your garden hose. Um, and we want to keep in mind that we want to clean the pond, but we don't want to sterilize the pond. So it's okay if there are things left behind uh, that don't completely get removed from the water column and in, in, in the bottom of the pond, but we wanna try to shoot for 90, 95% uh, removal. So as the bacterias be become active again, when the water warms up, um, you're not, uh, it, they're gonna start helping break those things down again and get everything in full swing. And it's, it's a little bit of food for the, for the bacteria as they, they come out of their dormancy. So, so now in that process, uh, we've, um, we've removed the filtration, we've drained the pond, we've removed the fish, we've pressure washed the heavy, heavy debris, and, um, and now we're rinsing. And rinsing can take a while. Uh, it, that's a pretty long process. You're getting anything that's maybe stuck between rocks, uh, things that the pressure washer couldn't reach, um, things that you're gonna have to remove with your hands. And we're gonna do that uh, as long as it takes until the water comes clear. And when the water comes clear, uh, we can start filling the pond back up and put some of the components back in like the filters and we're gonna treat that water with detoxifier. So any bacteria that's left in the system, uh, we're gonna protect that with, with uh, dechlorinating the water, and that's gonna make the water safe again for the fish. Uh, and then it's important that your fish that you have in holding tanks 
Um, you're also going to want to acclimate those fish, acclimate those uh, fish, which acclimating means you're going to bring them uh, to the same temperature as the new water that you're putting in the pond. And that's going to take 20 or 30 minutes depending on the outside temperatures. Um, if it's a really hot day, you want to really keep your fish cold and you don't want to let the water get too hot in the holding tanks and you want to make sure there's aerators with plenty of oxygen and circulation in those tanks while they're, while they're waiting on you to get their home clean again. And so we don't have to fill up the pond completely to uh, add the fish back to the pond. Um, so I think it's almost better to get enough water that they can be uh, completely covered in the bottom and get them back in there so they can slowly get adjusted um, to that water as the pond fills back up. And then um, after a few hours, it'll be ready to, to turn the, the waterfalls back on and, uh, and get that circulation moving. Well, there you have it. Uh, that is a full pond cleaning. Um, that is the way that we do it here at Riverbed Builders. And we've been doing it that way for years. And we've had great success. Uh, you know, every pond is a little bit differently and reacts differently to a pond cleaning but uh, it's definitely uh, part of the process. So if you wanna keep a pond and you wanna have healthy fish, uh, it's important to, uh, to get that pond cleaned out every year and, uh, and give those fish the best home they possibly can live in. But uh, so if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna be bringing you more things like this in the future and, uh, and hope you're having a great week and I will talk to you later. Thanks.